Hello, and welcome to the first presidential prize fire. <laughs> right, okay, the rules are simple. Two former presidents, John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, shall be compared based on performance, based on leadership. Let's get started with the first round, offshore foreign affiliation. Here's a gist of Adams. France was mad about Adams' choice of ambassadors, so they started stealing American ships. Adams sent delegates to France to negotiate with the disagreements, but they were met by three French foreign affairs agents known as X, Y, and Z, and they demanded a large bribe before they were going to allow Adams' delegates to see anybody of importance. The delegates said, how about no, and this led to problems later on with the relationship between the two countries. Also during the Adams administration, as a result of the Quasi War, Adams decided that French people shouldn't be allowed to influence the American government. So he signed into effect the Alien Act that changed the requirements for citizenship to include a prior 14-year residency rather than a 5 -year. Now on to Jefferson and the Louisiana Purchase. After the French Revolution, Napoleon was strapped for cash. Jefferson took advantage of this and said to Napoleon, We want land and you want money. You have land and we have money. Let's work something out. And so Napoleon made a decision to sell his land for way less than it actually was worth in order to get some quick. Also under Jefferson were problems of foreign affair neutrality. Several weeks after the Louisiana Purchase, Napoleon declared war on Britain, but the Americans decided they were going to try to continue trade with both countries. France and Britain both said, that's not cool, and trade embargoes were then placed on the United States, essentially halting American trade with foreign nations. Sun ends with Adams lagging behind at 3.1 and Jefferson taking that lead with a 3.7. Now on to economic policy. In order to pay for the expansion of the military that came after the XYZ affair, Adams proposed a tax on all paper products referred to as the Stamp Act. Gosh golly, this seems similar to something that caused a country to start fighting for its freedom not too long before, doesn't it? This caused riots and spikes of violence among the Americans, as they were strongly opposed to this. Now on to Jefferson. Because he felt that a smaller government was better, he reduced the power of the existing government. One of the ways that he went about doing this was by repealing many domestic taxes and reducing others, virtually leaving only taxes on imports and exports, otherwise known as tariff. This round comes to an end, giving Adams a 2.4 and Jefferson a 3.4. The running totals now at Adams, 3.7, and Jefferson, 3.6. Now on to inter-party relations. Adams stuck to his gut. He was a pronounced Federalist, and Federalists supported a large central government. As a result of this support of large central governments, Adams increased the size of the government. Jefferson was a proclaimed strict constitutionalist. The Constitution states that human beings have certain unalienable rights that include but are not limited to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. While supporting human rights, Jefferson thought it was okay to alienate the rights of slaves for his personal life. Pretty hypocritical, don't you think? This round ends by giving Adams a hefty 4.4 and Jefferson a 3.4, making the running totals Adams 3.3 and Jefferson 3.5. Now on to direct domestic population interaction. Adams got his panties up in a bunch, because people were wrongly criticizing his actions in office. So he said people couldn't say anything that was wrong about him, or they'd be fined and off in jail. This also seems familiar to something that caused the country to start fighting for its freedom not too long before. Hmm. Was more popular with the people. Jefferson was a strict constitutionalist that believed the Sedition Act was unconstitutional as it went against the First Amendment's guarantee of free speech. His solution was simple. Like many other things from the Adams administration, he got rid of it. Round ends by giving Adams a 2.2 and Jefferson a 4.4, bringing the final totals to be Adams 3.1 and Jefferson 3.8. Be sure to tune in next week to see Pyatt vs. Price. I have no energy. I need pizza, but we'll wait until the first take. Now I'm laughing. Take it. Say that again? I have no idea what any of my lines are. France and Britain said that's not cool and put trade embargoes on American ships. 
Words, Aaron. Use your words. <laughs> Embargoes were then placed on the United States, effectively halting trading business. That trade dome. Should, uh, should I say that? That America NASCAR betrayed America, and NASCAR was born. <laughs> Imagine NASCAR with like horse-drawn buggies. <laughs> <laughs> what what is? While supporting human rights, Jefferson, 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 <laughs> drop your pen right there. So what you was that intentional? Okay, let's let's check the lights. Micro steps. More. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded me. <vague. laughs>